OK, so we're going to be having a look at the mean of ungrouped data. And by ungrouped data, I just mean it appears in a list. Um, you may also get asked to find the mode of data, which they sometimes refer to as the modal value. I won't be covering that in these videos because I think it's pretty basic. So I've written here, you all know how to find the mean of a list of values. But let's consider the notation and see how theoretically we could calculate each of the individual components on a calculator. So what you would do with this usually is we would, for the mean, you would add them up and divide it by how many there are. And that's really what we've written here. We're talking about the X bar, which you may have remembered from the previous video, is the, the mean of. And I've written here that the overbarring stats, this bit here, specifically means the sample mean of. But don't worry about the sample bit for now. It just means the mean of these values, the diameter of the coin in this particular case. So let's just think about what this means. This top bit means the sum of the diameters. And what this means from the top part is it just means add them all up. And then the bottom part is how many there are, how many data points there are. Data points just means, um, well, how many there are. And in this case, it's dividing by how many that there are. It's exactly the same thing that we were talking about at the top. So I could do this really, really boring on my calculator, and I could just do 2.2 .2 plus 2.5 plus 2.6 plus 2.65 plus 2.9, which is 12.85. And I could divide it by how many there are, and there's five here. So my average value is 2.57, but I'm going to want to learn how I can do this in a calculator instead. So I'm going to see if we can try this on two different calculators. First of all, I'm going to try it with my graphics calculator, and then I'm going to go through the ClassWiz calculator that we have over here. OK, so first of all, let me just get this set up so that I can show you on my camera what I'm going to do here. OK, and so here is my class whiz, not my class whiz, but my graphics calculator that I've got. So what you need to do is, first of all, you'll go to your menu and you're going to go to the statistics part that you've got here. OK, you can either press two or you can just scroll along to the bit and get to it. Now I'm going to delete these numbers that I have here. Using my delete all. And first of all, when you've got this set up, you need to understand how the values are going to be input. So let's just scroll back to the beginning bit. You should have a screen looking like this. And the first thing I want you to do is to go to the calculator button, which is F2. And we're doing one var. One var stands for one variable because we're only talking about the diameters of the coin here. So it says no data. Well, I wonder why it says no data. What you have to do is you go to set so that it understands what you're trying to input. When you press set, we've got these list titles along the top. So the one variable, the X values are going to go in list one and then one variable frequency. Well, I'm going to change it from um, should all just be one for now. Yep. So I'm going to say that the frequency for the variable is just going to be one. Let's actually type some of those values in there. I wonder if I've got them here. I do have them here. So I'm going to just type in the first one was 2.2. And then every time I'm doing this, I'm just going to press execute exe just to input the next value. So it's 2.2, 2.5. We've then got the third one is 2.6. 2.65 and 2.9. Now that I've got to this stage here, I'm going to press one variable to do some one variable calculations. And it tells me all of these different things. It tells me the sum of x is 12.85. And it tells me that there are five values, which is n. Don't worry about sx and sigma x and the sum of x squared just yet. And it also tells us that the mean value is 2.57. So I'm going to do the same thing now, but I'm going to do it on the class with calculator, which I think lots of my students have got. So I'm going to just make sure that this is um, going to be started again. So it's completely fresh. OK, so here is the class with calculator that you've got here. Now, what you're going to do for this is you're going to do a similar setup apart from you're going to use the menu again. And we're going to go to statistics. So you're going to scroll along and it's number six, or you can just press number six on here. 
Now, out of the different options that you've got, we're doing one variable stuff because we're just talking about the diameter of a coin. So we just press number one and you can see you've got this list of values that you've got here. If you want to, you can add in a frequency column and I'll show you how to do that later on. But for now, I'm just going to type in the different values. So I'm going to press 2.2 and then this time I press equals. So that's 2.2, 2.5, 2.6. 2.65 and 2.9. When you've got to that stage now, you can just press the calculate button. So the calculate button is going to then give you the options. Or oh, hang on a second, you have to press AC first, then you press the calculate button. Or is it the options? Uh, you'd press options, my apologies, and then you press one variable calculations. So it's option before the calculator option and then number two for one variables. So you can see what it says here, you've got the sum of X is 2.57, sorry, the sum of X is 12.85 and X bar is 2.57. And again, there's some other values that are in here too. As you scroll down the list, it's got the value of N. It's got some other bits like the minimum, the median, the maximum. Don't worry about those for now. And then if you want to just go back, you just press AC. So you can see that you're in statistics mode and there is one variable here. I'm just going to show you again what you do. You press option and then you want to press number two for the one variable calculator. If you put in a piece of data wrong, you press options and then you press number three to go to data. And then you can go back to the data and you can say, oh, hang on, that wasn't meant to be 2.65. That was meant to be 2.7. And then press the AC button again and you can see how it changes any of your calculations that you've got there, okay? If you wanna get off this bit where it says statistics one variable, just press menu and then press number one. Number one is just the calculation one that takes you back to normal, okay? So let's go back to good notes so I can show you about what else we're going to do here. So now we want to know how we can do this with frequency tables. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna separate this into a separate video.